A very happy, happy morning to all, my dear children. Welcome back to your Max class, dear children. Today in Max, we are going to part three of your chapter number seven, that is numbers up to hundred. Yes, dear children. So go fast, all of you. Open your textbook and open numbers from ninety-one to hundred. Okay. In your previous video lesson, we have learned. Numbers up to ninety. Now, in this video lesson, we will learn numbers from ninety-one to hundred. Okay, let us start. Yes, Leela has some ladoos. Yummy, yummy ladoos. She is Leela, and what she is having? Ladoos. Yes, she put ten ladoos in a jar. She is putting. Ten ladoos in a jar. After filling nine jars, some ladoos are still left. Let us help her count the ladoos. Now she is filling the ladoos in a jar, and after making nine jars of ladoos, some ladoos are still left. So now we have to help her to count the ladoos. But you will not eat the ladoos, okay? Yes, very good. We have to just count it. Okay. Yes. See, the first one is already done for us. That is nine tens plus three ones equals to ninety-three. Okay. After nine, we are having over here tens. So we will put here ninety. We will put a zero to make it ninety. And here we are having ones. So ones is having only a single digit. So plus three equals to ninety-three. In the same way, we will do nine tens plus four ones equals to ninety-four. So here you will write ninety. Here you will write four, and here you will write ninety-four. Next one, nine tens and five ones equals to ninety-five. So ninety over here plus five equals to ninety five. Yes. Then nine tens and six ones equals to ninety six. So ninety plus six equals to ninety six. Then. Nine tens plus seven ones equals to ninety-seven. So ninety plus seven equal to ninety-seven. These two you will do it on your own. I will make you solve this one. Okay? Now have a look, dear children. Nine tens plus ten ones equals to hundred. Now we have to make it hundred. So how we will make it? Here it is written nine tens. That means ninety. Ten ones. That means ten. You will write here, and it will be ninety plus ten is equals to hundred. Or else, or else you can write it like one more way is there. You can write it like. Ten tens plus zero ones equals to hundred. Ten tens. First of all, the number ten will be there. Then the word is there. Tens. So one more zero you will add. That will be hundred plus zero equals to hundred. Okay. In any way you can write, dear children. Understood? Is it clear to you all? Now next you are having counting in tens. Yes, that is ten, twenty, thirty. We have to count it in tens. Now one group of ten equals to twenty. If there is a one group of ten balls, these are the balls. Okay. If there is one group of ten balls, that will be ten. That is T E N. If there are two groups of ten balls, one and two, there are two groups. So ten over here and ten over here as well. That will make twenty. 
that will make 20. If there are three groups, one, two, three. Kitne groups hai? Three groups of 10 balls. So 10 over here, 10 over here and 10 again over here. That will make 30. Understood? If there are four groups of 10, that will make 40. In the same way, if there are 5, if there are 6, if there are 7, if there are 8, 9 and 10 groups. So that will make 100. Okay, if there are 10 groups of 10 balls, that will make 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How many groups are there? 10 groups of 10 balls. So that will make 100. Understood? So what is counting in 10s? That is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Is it clear? Now, what you have to do in your notebook, dear children? This will be your homework. In your notebook, what you have to write, you will write down the today's date. Then you will write the number and the spelling. Okay? The things which I have made it in circle. Only that thing you have to write. 10, then the spelling, then the number 20, again the spelling of 20, the number 30, again the spelling of 30, then the number 40, again the spelling of 40, then the number 50, again the spelling of 50. So like this you have to write it in your maths notebook. This will be your homework dear children. Understood very well? Is it clear to you all? I hope dear kids you are clear with the explanation part of this chapter number 7. Now from tomorrow onwards we will be moving to the exercise part. Okay dear kids. So today this was it. Now we will meet next time with something more interesting in math. Till then bye bye all. God bless you. Take care.